Jamaica is endowed with many large deposits of high-purity limestone that, if developed, can be marketed for the processing of high-value products. The potential for significant earnings from limestone lies in its varied uses such as in the production of cement, paper, paints, chemicals, animal feed, soap, toothpaste, and for pharmaceuticals. Focus on large rock bodies suitable for producing skid-resistant aggregates for transportation-wearing surfaces is also an area of significant economic interest. Current rejuvenation and expansion in the mining and construction sectors, including the use of sand from hard rocks, are commanding new opportunities. The Ministry of Transport and Mining is particularly happy that this event is occurring. It therefore means that given the use of blasting and well, explosives in these two sectors, there will be a serious amount of work for persons who are going to be familiar with the untrained in the blasting technologies. Jamaica was one of six countries selected in August 2014 to participate in the ACP EU Development Minerals Program, of which the capacity building training is a significant component. This program is an initiative of the African, Caribbean and Pacific ACP Group of States, financed by the European Union and is being implemented by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, with the Ministry of Transport and Mining's Mines and Geology Division as the national partner. Through a grant of €750,000, the capacity building work has taken off with industry stakeholders, civil society, private sector operators, blasters and public sector representatives being provided with training in best practices in health and safety, environmental stewardship, mine management and gender issues. It's all part of an overall effort to have development of neglected minerals play a more integral role in sustainable development, generating more local jobs and reducing poverty. The program must be commended because of its focus, one that seeks to raise the profile and improve the management, particularly in what they call development minerals sector. We know that these minerals have played and continue to play a very important role in, in terms of development, whether roads, highways. We know that we are in a knowledge economy and knowledge is what um, basically um, drives economies. So this training program is very timely, any training program. The importance of improving your own efficiency, your competitiveness cannot be overemphasized. Thank the ACP, EU in particular funders for your total and committed support to this program. The training contributes to disseminating innovative know-how and supports the implementation of the Paris Agreement and its commitment to alternative clean technology. When we are talking about blasting, we know that there are some risks. This learning will be important for influencing changing within the national frameworks. Because of lack of attention to the sector, often the ordinary practices face a number of environmental, social and economic challenges. It is therefore important to build capacity by training and offering support to the main stakeholders in the sector. Like many Jamaicans, we believe that education and skills training are essential tools for transforming lives. This is why we are fully engaged in supporting key initiatives aimed at advancing access to education and building people's capacity to create or find employment opportunities to improve their quality of life. The training covers theory as well as practical demonstrations of quarry blasting techniques and mining and other quarry management methodologies. We are trying to let them have an understanding of blasting um, quarry design and how to more efficiently use the explosive to get the production that is desired. Basically, we are trying to impart best practice. We basically mine five different raw materials for the cement manufacture process. Limestone, which is 80% of the materials used. Basically, we also drill and blast 80% of that material. So this program is very, very beneficial to us as I'm expected to be exposed to all the best practices in drilling and blasting. I'll be better able to manage my contractors who are also here. It will be a boost for the industry. Considering we have been having three in the three in programs, 
where we train individuals that will go back into the quarries, into the industry to train others. So before long we'll have a well-trained unit. The ACPEU UNDP Development Minerals Program on Training, a partnership with Mines and Geology Division, Ministry of Transport and Mining, empowering people to achieve sustainable development.